please, you can't rush these things. It's got to be chilled just right, especially for our first anniversary. Okay, Dad, you're vice president in charge of champagne tonight. Uh. Well, well, if it isn't a blushing bridegroom. <laughs> Looking mighty handsome. Yeah, come on, I'm cooling the booze. <laughs> well, you tend to your job and I'll tend to mine. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh, dear. Uh, well, looks like I'm just in time for the future attraction. <laughs> <laughs> and what an attraction. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh. Naturally, she looks like me. <laughs> oh, you old fossil. Any other time, I'd give you an argument, but today, the way I feel, everybody looks gorgeous, including you. Here. Uh, have a gorgeous cigar. <laughs> Here's something for you. It came while you were getting dressed. Telegram, sir. Only be from Terry. It's a pity she can't be here to celebrate with us. At school, we got a lot of nerve letting the exams interfere with our anniversary. Read it out loud. I wish through all your lifetime, your happiness has no end. I wish that all life's joys your every day attend. But my fondest wish, dear parents, is an advance on my allowance you should send. <laughs> that kid's got a lot of hearts, you know that? Go ahead. <laughs> I'll wire her some money in the morning. Put it over there on the table, Linda. That's it. Well, what's all this? We're celebrating our anniversary, too. Yeah. We've been brother and sister for a year now. I think that's a very charming idea. Well, I think she's ready. I think ours is about ready, too, Linda. You do the honest, Dan. Let's do you do our honest. Okay. Now watch her go pop. Ha! That was <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go pop. You're lucky. You'll feel better in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Yeah. Boy, this has got a lot of spirit, Louise. Yeah. Come on, you have to celebrate with us, too. Well, thank you. There we go. Here you are, Louise. Honey, do you want to grab yours? Yes, yes thank, thank you, you Dad. Fine, swell. Dad, you got the tray? Yes. All righty. Now, a toast to you, to Kat, who's made this a wonderful first year for all of us. Terry thanks you, Rusty thanks you, Linda thanks you, but most of all, I thank you. Uh-uh. Most of all, I thank you. You sure took a lot of pressure off. Until you came, I was the only one around for him to holler at. <laughs> Stop complaining and drink up. Skull. Here, Louise, let me give you some more. Oh, no, no, sir. I don't need any more. You know, I'm doing dishes. What's the matter? You afraid to get arrested for drunk Brian? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Drunk Brian. Do you get paid for jokes like that? No, but you know me, I can't pass up a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Once a ham, always a ham. Now, don't you pick on him. He's my ham, and I love him. I wouldn't change him for the world. Thank you, sweetheart. Ah, uh, you two are sure right for each other. I'd like to propose a toast to my son-in-law. I'll drink to that. To me? Yes, to you, for making the greatest move of the century when you proposed to my Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad, I gotta admit that was a great move, but I can't take the credit for it. It was Kathy who did the proposing. Oh, yeah. oh now, Dan, you'll give Dad the wrong impression. No, what I mean, Dad, is I would have been very happy to propose, but Kathy beat me to it. Oh, I see. <laughs> really, Danny. What do you mean, now, really? You're trying to say you didn't propose to me? Well, no, I didn't, dear. Well, oh, come on, come on, both of you. Now, what's the difference? Who proposed? As long as it happened. That's well, right. There's no yeah. difference now, really. I just want to get the record straight. I don't think a man should forget his own proposal in one short year. Well, darling, I, I haven't forgotten. I remember distinctly, sweetheart. And I remember distinctly. Oh, now, Kathy, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. Children, go up and take your baths, will you, please? Take our baths? You heard me. Gee whiz, every time you get sore at Daddy, you take it out on us. <laughs> Nobody is sore at anybody. Oh, now, Kathy, nothing. you're gonna spoil the whole party with yeah. your silly argument. My silly argument? Well, sure is silly. What if you did propose to Danny? Well, you mean you believe him? Why shouldn't I believe him? Because it's just not true. Not true? Oh, now, come on. Let's face it, kitten. Everybody knows it's the woman who chases the man. I all right like that. that. You're my father, and you're siding with him against me. Yeah, you well, you know me. I'm, I'm a man, and we men have to stick together to protect ourselves against unreasonable women. <laughs> well, then you just stick together. Danny, I'll be waiting in my room when you're ready to apologize. Oh. <laughs> well, you're going to have a long wait before he's ready to apologize. <laughs> Right, Danny? Right. Yeah. <laughs> the way 
are you going? I'm ready to apologize. <laughs> Uh, you out of your cotton-picking mind, that's the worst thing you can do. It is? Of course. Mr. Williams, as an employee of long standing, I recommend that you do that apology bit right soon. It ain't no fun dancing the anniversary walls with your father-in-law. <laughs> She's right, John. Now, Danny, you just can't do it. What do you mean, I can't do it? She's my wife. I'm her husband. This is our anniversary. It's no time to be quarreling. We're supposed to be happy. And you want to stay happy for a lot more anniversaries? Of course I do. Then take my advice. If you start crawling now, you'll dig a hole you'll never get out of. Yeah? Yeah, look, son. Marriage is like the army. There's got to be a general and there's got to be a private. You understand? Uh-huh. Where are you going? To see the general. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come back here. You're the general. I am? Of course, and you've got to show her you're the general every minute of the day. Now, sit down, General. <laughs> this is a time to be strong. Now, just review what's happened. Did you walk out on her? No, you got too much consideration to do a thing like that. She walked out on you. And what for? An innocent little remark. Now, is that a thing for a wife to do on an anniversary? No. No, it is not. Yeah. Alicia could have done it, stay here and talk it out. Right. There's no way for a private to be treating a general. Now, you sure I'm the general? <laughs> of course you're the general, and the general of an army never weakens. You're right. Yeah. And I'm the general of this man's army. You're the general. I just thought of something. What? What if she's in the Navy? <laughs> How many points you got? 55. That's $1,654,504.10. <laughs> and don't forget the 10 cents. What are you always holding on the kings for? Who can concentrate? You call this an anniversary? Yeah. Three hours she's been holed up in that bedroom. How stubborn can that girl be? <laughs> stubborn? You should have seen her when she was a little girl. Any time she didn't get away, off to her room and locked herself in. We used to call it a prisoner as ender. <laughs> 11 o'clock. Another hour and I won't have an anniversary. I can't take this much longer, you know. That's exactly what she's figuring. How do you know what she's figuring? How do I know? I was married to her mother for 30 years, rest her soul, and she's just like her mother. Dan, you stick to your principles like I did, and believe me, she'll be the one to crack, not you. Yeah. And when she does, I guarantee you, I'm not going to forgive her so easy either. I'm going to put her through the same mill she put me through. You just watch and see. Man, that a boy. Come on, have some more champagne. Okay. That's fighting dirty. <laughs> but it didn't do her any good. I'm proud of you, boy. You stood there like the rock at Gibraltar. Solid and unshakable. Where you going? Gibraltar just crumbled. <laughs> Can't you see you're on the verge of victory? I don't want to win. I want to lose. <laughs> don't you see that negligee, the perfume, the whole business? That was her best shot. Now, if you don't weaken for that, she's got nothing left. She'll have to surrender. Daly, you're nuts. <laughs> Maybe, but I know women. Well, go be a house mother at the YWCA. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my wife. Annie, you can't do it. Now, come on, you can't do it. Annie. Danny, aren't you coming up? <laughs> See what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming up until you ask him properly. <laughs> oh, all right. Danny, would you mind coming up? Say please. Please. Not you, her! <laughs> Danny, would you please come up? <laughs> Uh, 
she's all yours. <laughs> you sure know your woman, Dad. Yes, Good night. Good night, General. <laughs> 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 Your blanket, and I hope you and your father-in-law will be very happy together. Think you're going, General? Over the hill. <laughs> it's all right with you if I go AWOL to my wife. You're not doing anything oh, come of the sort. I'll come down I'm here. I'm ashamed of you. Now you listen to me. Oh, well, I'm sick and tired of listening to you. I'd like to go to my wife if it's all right with everybody concerned. Now, if you don't mind. No. Nah. Kathy. Kathy, darling. Jim. Isn't this silly, darling? Please open the door and come out here. I love you. Please open the door and come out, dear. Romeo, you were barking up the wrong balcony. What's going on, Louise? Oh, you got that poor child so upset until she can't sleep, and I had to get her a glass of hot milk. I, I told you, you're winning. I don't want to win. Uh, Louise, would you please go up there and explain to her that I'm sorry and that this whole thing is ridiculous? No, sir, Mr. Williams. When there's a war on between a man and his wife, I'm little old neutral Switzerland. We're supposed to be pals. You've known me a lot longer than you've known her. Well, I know how she feels. She's a woman, and no woman likes to be told that she's chased after a man. It's the truth, isn't it? Huh? What do you mean, huh? She proposed to you, didn't she? Well, sort of. Sort of. Well, you didn't propose to her, did you? Well, sort of. Well, you, you both proposed to each other? Well, sort of. Holy smokes, how did you ever get the job done? <laughs> You gotta understand, this was an unusual case. Yeah. Will you do me a favor? Tell me what really did happen. Go on, tell the man. Yeah. Well, Rusty and Terry were doing a lot of silly things to get Kathy and me married. Yeah. And, well, and I kind of hinted that Kathy put the kids up to it. Hinted? Ha! <laughs> anyway, she was mad, fighting mad. But no matter how mad she was, I. I had to show her that I couldn't be intimidated, that I was man enough and brave enough to stand up to her. So I took the kids along for protection. <laughs> My brave boy. You want to hear the story or don't you? Of course, go ahead. Well, anyway, we got there. She was in her apartment alone and really boiling mad. Terry rang the bell. Come in. for your father. <laughs> Danny Williams, I've taken about as much from you today as I can take. If you don't get out of here, you're going to have an ashtray on your... <laughs> no real American woman would hit a man with a child in his arms. <laughs> An example of your celebrated sense of humor. No, Kathy, uh, it's a... Uh... It's an example of a guy trying to climb out of a hole he dug for himself. And we helped him dig it, Kathy. And we're real sorry. Forgive me? Please, Kathy? Please, Kathy? Please, Kathy? What can I do? I'm outnumbered. Yippee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please sit down right here, Kathy. Oh, all right. Daddy, go ahead. 
Go ahead what? Go ahead with the next order of business. Well, don't rush me. <laughs> How much longer are you going to stall? Well, 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 give me a chance. I'll get around to it. Well, somebody in this family has to ask her. Kathy. Rusty, get up off your knees this instant. <laughs> Rusty, get up out of there. Rusty. Daddy, would you be still? Russell, don't you dare. We all love you very much, and we would like you to be our lawful wedded mother. <laughs> Rusty, that's the nicest thing any man ever said to me. Okay, Terry, I've got the ball rolling. Let the coward up. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Uh, Kathy, I, I, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. You're telling us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, uh, Kathy. Yeah. Kathy, I, I, uh... He loves you very much. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh... You're the morning light that shines in his eyes. You're the morning light that shines in my eyes. His heartbeat quickens at the touch of your hand. My heartbeat quickens at... How old are the boys in your school? Daddy, quit trying to change the subject. Where did you hear that kind of language? Stop trying to wiggle out of it. You leave me alone, too, and besides, this whole thing is ridiculous. How can a man propose to a woman in the presence of his own children? What's the matter? Isn't it legal? <laughs> it's legal, but it's not romantic. All right, Daddy, don't let us bother you. We'll just sit here very quietly, and you won't even know that we're here. Yeah, you can get as much as you want. <laughs> Still ridiculous, that's all. Proposing to a lady in front of a bunch of children. This is no proposal, it's a PTA meeting. All right, Daddy, we'll wait in the kitchen. Yeah, if you need any help, just holler. Thanks a lot. Look, Kathy, this isn't the way I planned it at all, really. I've got so many beautiful things I want to say to you. But it's awful hard for a face like this to say them to a face like that. You know what I mean? Um, you see, isn't this awful? All of a sudden, I'm tongue-tied. Me, old jabberpuss, I get on the nightclub floor, I can ad lib, I can stay out there for an hour. I, I must know the lyrics to a thousand love songs. I love you is all that I can say. I love you. I love you. The same old words I'm saying in the same old way. I love you, Kathy. I don't know how else to say it. Three words, so divine. And now, my dear, I'm waiting. I thought I'd never ask you. <laughs> anyway, I was combing rice out of my hair for the next four days. 
How y'all can ever argue after all that, I'll never know. Men. <laughs> Promise me you'll sing that every anniversary. I certainly will. Now, that's what I like to see. Now, do me a favor, kids. Don't ever fight again. Oh, you know, <laughs> there's nothing like having a cool, mature head in the crowd when kids like you are heading for the rocks. <laughs> uh, you know, you were sure lucky I was here to keep you out of a serious <laughs> breakup. You know that? It's a, you really? bet your life. Well, we did. Oh, yeah. we sure You were. know, Dad, just to make sure that we don't get any trouble on our next anniversary, we want you here just like this time. Where? I mean, icing the champagne, making a toast, everything just like this time. Yeah. Only when you make the toast, make it nice and loud, huh? What for? So we can hear you, because we'll be in Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 